Hi, welcome, Simon here. I'm not sure if I should call this as a part two video or continue from the first one, but I just want to jump right in and um, explain what happened on the previous video, the earlier ver version of the video. So earlier version of the vi uh, video, pretty much I show how to remove the back cover, uh, explain to you what happened to the original hard drive. This is the one terabyte Western Digital, was original from the computer, and I was getting a blue screen, right? So every time when I turn on the computer, it would try to load, and then after a while, it says diagnose the problem, and then it would be just a sad face and a blue screen. Sometimes I do get a message that say no boot device was found, or oh, Hard, hard drive error so if you're getting those messages um, those problem then more likely the m02 was bad so i explained how to retrieve the data by using one of these usb adapter um, i'll link it down in the description below where you can buy directly from either amazon or ebay so i did run a test on the uh, workbench computer and the read sector on the disk was bad meaning that they'll found some of the bad sector on the uh, uh, the disc so I'll be replacing this with the Crucier 1TB M.2 alright so I was able to recover the data that was a good sign and then the, this video here is to install the, uh, the new hard drive and the windows well I'm not sure if I'm going to install the windows here in front of the camera but I need to install windows on a new hard drive in um, for it to start up right so so this hard drive here uh, comes with a screw the mounting screw for that which is nice I don't think I need the mounting screw for this purpose but I'll save the screw okay to install just slide it in at 45 degree angle like such have the heat sink to go back on top of it the two screws that came from the computer let's put it back together okay and that should be it so um, I'm gonna walk through the process you might need to buy the uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB installer um, in the USB installer for to, to reinstall Windows into the uh, brand new M.2 if you do not want to buy it that's fine because you can actually make your own um, if you're buying this you're actually buying the license for the Windows the computer itself comes with it so technically you don't need to buy it um, what you can do is go to Microsoft website I'll link it down description below or you can just Google it and says um, Windows 10 media create tools or something like that.